Let's learn how to make an appointment in Web Gateway. Now you probably have a link to Web Gateway from your college site to enable you to make appointments in the tutoring, advising, math center, whatever the case may be. Okay, so here I am in Web Gateway. The first thing I'll do is click Login and enter my ID and password. Okay, now the lab to login drop-down box may have one or multiple values in it. This is the location or the lab where I'll be scheduling the appointment. In this case, I'll say Math Lab. Now I'll click Login, and then I'm logged in as Chad. I'm going to click Appointments, Create Appointment Student. Now the first thing I'll do is click a category, and the courses or activities are grouped underneath the category. In this case, I have math classes, so I'll pick that, and then in the drop-down box, let's say I want to make an appointment for college trig. I click Next, and then it shows a list of tutors that help with this college trig class. So I'll pick Cindy, for example, and it shows her schedule. I can pick different tutors, and it shows their schedule. I can further um, expand or shrink the period of time that I want to look for the appointment, then click the refresh button. So now it shows me all the way up to March. Anyway, once I find the tutor that I want to work with, I'll click a block of time, and then it'll pop open a box. Now, you may have a button that says one-on-one uh, -on -one or group or not, so it's all set up by the administrator. One-on-one uh, -on -one would be one student, one tutor. Group would be uh, many students, one tutor. Also, you may have different periods of time when your appointment can end. In this case, it's only 30-minute appointments allowed, so I'll just pick 1030 and click Schedule. Okay, now that appointment is recorded, and it takes me back to my appointments screen. I can view that appointment here by going View Cancel Appointments Student. So I already had an anatomy and physiology, but now I have a college trig. If I want, I can cancel an appointment and put a reason for cancellation. But be careful with that because the administrator might have rules about how many appointments you can cancel before you're locked out of the system. Okay, so that's all there is to it.